booted into recovery using advanced restore button if you don't have that you can use power button and volume up button simultaneously to boot into recovery and regarding this latest recovery i posted in community section the download link is available and i made a dedicated video you can check out in my channel in this video i am showing the flashing method just go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik cache and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install as you can see now the rom is decrypted whichever rom previously you have flashed that is version 12.1 or maybe 12 also if it is available then it will be decrypted i am selecting a storage micro sd card and select ok go to firmware always first 12.5.5.0 surya global not in global this is very good thing you need to remember people make mistakes here only they flash some other firmware flash this one only and again go to install and select the rom zip files in this video i am going to flash this rice droid 12.1 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here this is the latest version with june 22nd build date and version 12 you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home section and select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go back again to home section and select reboot and select the system it will reboot into the rom the rice droid latest version for poco x3 slash nfc follow the same method use the links of same thing like rom zip file and flash the same firmware as I said 12.5.5.0 recommended the same firmware and I have made a dedicated video of TWRP new recovery as you can see it's booted into rice droid in this video I am going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular ROM including gaming also like BGMA if possible Call of Duty also stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video <laughs> hey welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath sanfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews rice droid version you can see here 2.5 duhat g apps variant june 5th 2022 latest security patch and 4.14.246 rice kernel has been used this is the latest build available for poco x3 slash nfc and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes you can see here the maximum is 159 and average is 145 and minimum is 109 million GPS and there is a little bit of throttle going on after 5 minutes you can see here 83% of its max performance the throttling has been detected that's how it is and coming into benchmark results I start with the Android benchmark here you can see 3,57,258 which is very good score you can see here the temperature raise was very much here 4.1 degrees celsius and battery drop percentage was just 3 percentage that's how it is the scores are very good even the Geekbench scores the single score and multi score I will show you you can see here the single score is 559 and multi score is 1650 and kernel as usual i said linux 4.14.246 rice kernel has been used with android version 12.1 this is the rom and there are some pre-installed apps also like audio effects whatever we see in lineage os those are added here you can use this if you want to enhance your audio experience in this particular rom you can do that and this is the dialer you get and the gallery application is also pre-installed as i said before you can see here some of the options are given in the gallery also and this is the camera application pre-installed here basic things you can do that advanced features you can use this arno build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports also nx camera support may be very soon the recovery is now supported for android 12.1 decrypted very soon we can expect the nx camera support for android 12 based roms for poco x3 slash nfc that's how it is you can see here and dialer let me start with dialer again you can see here direct video call feature is available in this rom let me make the call 
let's check whether the call recording feature yes call recording feature is available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is it's fine enough all the features and basic things are given in this room which are working fine and career aggregation is also working fine and i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's also pulling fine here and even mobile data internet connection is also fine enough no problem regarding that and drm info you can see here level one certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem here that's also fine in this particular rom coming into safety net status here you can see here again it will get passed you can use all the ott application in hd resolution <laughs> that's fine safety net status means you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm everything is going to working fine here even whatsapp is also working fine you can see here that's how it is it's fine enough each and every app is working fine every app is supported here and contacts you can see file manager you can see some of the apps are pre-installed and this is the quick settings panel you get you can see here some of the options also you can edit from here let me disable location and sync and you can see the smoothness in the quick settings again it's very quick bit moving between them and even the settings panel you can see here it's very smooth by default the display settings is a little bit smaller like XS smile uh, size i changed it to just s if you want you can make it xl also it depends upon you that's how it is and customization here comes the separate section for customization you can see here plenty of customization available in this rice droid 2.5 version you can see here status bar icons plenty of options you can enable or disable from here clock and date logo you can change here position them and style you can see plenty are given those things you can customize network traffic monitor it's available you can hide or you can use plenty of customization again and old signal icon style and data disable indicator plenty of customization you can see here battery percentage you can choose here battery style also you can choose here plenty of customization available in order to make your smartphone customizable to look like this is like battery style again there is the option battery estimation is given battery slider position them plenty of customization in terms of quick settings also given column and portrait and landscape also you can increase or decrease from here coming into lock screen customization media cover art media cover art filter and battery information lock screens shortcuts you can see here left and right shortcut you can customize them those are handy features and tap to sleep and fingerprint authentication and error vibration and wake and unlock ripple effect power menu is also given in the this all the lock screen customization coming into navigation bar customization you can see our pixel animation ime button space show arrows keys while typing if you want that you can enable that layout also you can keep compact left or light right leaning invert layout and this all the actions you can choose here back long press home long press home double tap recent long press and edge long press each and everything you can keep here the action that will perform according to what i will keep coming into buttons customization here again there is plenty of customization like power menu as you can see you can enable the advanced restart button from here to control playback keyboard cursor control it's also chosen here reorientation plenty of customization in terms of buttons also now coming into user interface again ambient display is also working fine you can see here music ticker and additional settings plenty of customization available in ambient display too and settings home page style and settings background style settings style again you can see here rice usg apps micro g and material u pattern palette ui or qi there are some of the customization available in terms of settings column also you can choose that and full screen apps if some other app is not playing in the full screen you can head over here and make it in full screen that's fine in this particular rom monet settings again here also it's fine as you can see use custom color option is there but pitch black condition let me show you within a second and navigation bar style you can see here plenty of customization in terms of navigation bar style also you can choose one among them by default this one if you want like dora style nexus one plus old one ui sammy techno camon style you can customize from here font style icon style and wi-fi icon style and icon shape you can see here customization is more here you 
now moving into notifications again here also plenty of customization available in this rom moving into sound settings here also there are few customization like vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here volume panel timeout also you can customize panel on left or right you can choose that volume steps you can see here and pulse settings again there are lot more customization in terms of pulse now miscellaneous settings here you need to unlock high fps count in games and unlimited photo storage in google photos is also available when you enable that and swipe to screenshot is there pocket detection is also there these are the customization there are lot more customization in this registered compared to lineage os and octavio os and the cr droid also if you compare any other roms this is having lot more customization compared to any other roms in the system again gesture settings system navigation gesture navigation there is option to increase the pill length and it is differentiated between the whole screen that's fine enough that's not the problem here but they would have given option to increase the pill height also that's missing in this rom and system profiles again here also plenty of customization are available rise to lab again here also some of the customization has been added if you want you can enable or disable from here these are the customization available in this rise to you can see here coming into home screen if you press widgets and select clock no these things are not updated here and wallpapers and style choose change wallpapers on device wallpapers there are plenty of wallpapers have been pre-installed but these are not under 12 or 12 l style of wallpapers which we see in pixel experience kind of from so these are fine enough not bad but my front you can make it out that's not the problem the smoothness in the ui is very good following by this you will get bgmi gameplay video also and 33 watt charger support let me show you within a while that too and before that i want to show you this one into settings and if you want to search anything you can search from here at the dark theme let me enable the dark theme here okay is it in pitch black let me know guys if you can notice it is like in pitch black only but these icons it depends guys how you choose the settings panel based upon that it will show you and there are is the option like utilities also this is nothing but the accessibility menu just missing here let me show you whether it is there or not no they have to given that but they had missed that
vibration and haptics you can adjust from here you can see here ring vibration notification touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable it from here but accessibility menu is missing and location everything is working fine no problem regarding that too and coming to security settings you get fingerprint and face unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick just tap gets unlocked just tap gets unlocked even the face unlock let me show you that's also quick enough to unlock your smartphone using this see rice dried rom and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and uh, also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like i will be making similar kind of videos stay tuned to my channel lot more videos coming on poco x3 and you can see here these are the recent apps how quick it is this is the fastest i have ever seen as you can see it's very very quick in order to move between apps in this recent apps section this is really quick i haven't seen this kind of quickness i mean the fastness in any other rom's period and you can see here even the settings panel is also very quick this is one of the smoothest roms you can use as a daily driver i can recommend to you even the gaming was also very good that's the conclusion of this particular rom this is a very good rom for boko x3 i hope you guys liked the video and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now